Good morning. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys had a, have had a good week so far. Um, a couple of you joined me last night. I did a little special class last night on showing how to um, do dates uh, at the top of your pages. It's recorded here in the group, so feel free to go ahead and take a look at it. Um, so you can follow along on, on what I showed you. Um, it was really neat to see a couple of you actually follow along right when I was doing the class and, and uh, posted your pictures of what your dates look like. If you enjoyed that, if you got to watch the replay and want to see me do more things like that, I'd be happy to. Um, I enjoy showing people what it looks like whenever I do certain things. So just let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do more things like that, okay? So it is Thursday, um, September 1st, September 1st. So I'm going to show you what I did in yesterday's journal, um, and then we will go from there. So yesterday's page was uh, 1 Peter 5, 7, and it was cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. I just did a real simple uh, design with just a box and some flowers around it. Um, that's all I did for yesterday. And then I did my letters just a little bit bigger on top. Um, what I do was, uh, and I explained last night, is I have pages of letters and numbers and things like that that I look at whenever I am um, trying to decide what kind of lettering I want. Um, I am not creative, but I can copy. <laughs> so that's what I I do a lot is I will uh, duplicate something that I saw that was very similar. So that's how I come up with my pages like that. Um, good morning. Let me know who's here with me today. Uh, so since it's September 1st, I decided to do a little divider page for my September. Um, so I, I went ahead and started with this. And before you think that that was some fancy lettering that I did, it is not. I found the word September online and I printed it and I did my typical tracing where I put the color on the back. I put it down and colored over top of it, drew over top of it, and then went over top of it with marker. And then this is just washi tape. Um, and I'm going to put some fall leaves up here and some flowers down here. And what I did was I printed um, some pictures that I found online of some pretty leaves. So I'm just gonna try to duplicate those. And then there's some sunflowers. I might do some sunflowers down below, um, down here, and then do the fall leaves up there. So that'll be my separating page that I do. And then I'll start September 1st on this blank page over here. So that's what I am planning to do for my um, devotion today, okay, on my pages. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me know who's here. Good morning. Let me know who's on today. So um, September 1st and our first devotional a prompt is, um, is Joshua 1.9. And if you have not gotten your prompts yet, there's a link to get your prompts and it's for courageous Christians. Um, so you can go ahead and print those for free. Um, also, if you purchased our kit uh, that has the, the $4.99 a month kit uh, subscription, then you're going to get a page with different kinds of, of um, designs on it like this. So today's is this road, um, and it says be strong and courageous. So, so that's what I'm going to put in my journal today is this, is this road. Good morning, Denise. Good to see you here. Okay, so today's devotional. Uh, let's go ahead and get into that. Um, whoops, let me grab my paper again. Joshua 1.9, and it says... Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now, um, this was after Moses, Moses had passed away. And Joshua was about to lead the people of Israel into the promised land. And he was given today's message. He was commanded to be strong and courageous, and he was supposed to draw his strength from God and not be dependent on his own brain. Now, if Joshua and the people of Israel had tried to conquer the promised land all on their own, they would have failed. They were told that they needed to place their trust in God alone, who had promised that he's going to be with them wherever they went. 
So the month of September is all about being a courageous Christian. All month long, all of the scripture prompts that we have are going to be about uh, pertaining to being courageous. All last month, we talked about um, God's promises, uh, being in the word, which leads right into being courageous. If we are immersing ourselves into the word of God, if we're meditating on his promises and trusting in his word and knowing that he's with us, then his strength is going to make us strong. His strength is going to help us during our times of weakness. Have you ever thought about the fact that there's no such thing as needing courage unless you're faced with a mission or a challenge? You don't need to be courageous just to be courageous. You're courageous for something. If you don't ever feel the need to be courageous, you're probably missing something, right? <laughs> One of my favorite quotes is, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. If you felt a nudge to do something courageous and you've run away from it, you need to stop. <laughs> if God's called you to do something, start something, complete something, he's not going to leave you high and dry. Um, I read a quote this morning that was very similar and it says, don't ask for tasks that are equal to your powers. Ask for powers that are equal to your tasks. There's so many times when we're faced with scary or overwhelming tasks and situations, but we can face them with confidence when we believe what this verse says. We're not alone. We've got God with us wherever we go, and we truly can face anything. I hope that you believe that. I hope that you are, are feeling that. Um, morning, Vicki. Hi, Janine. Good to see you here. I hope that you feel courageous by being in God's word, knowing that you can be strong because you've got him behind you. All right. Let me know what you thought of today's devotional. Um, what are you going to journal about? Uh, are you starting in, you know, brand new today? If this is the start of a new month, it's the perfect time to start journaling um, and being daily in the word and being daily doing your journaling even if it's just to copy a picture or just write the scripture and pray while you're doing it that's totally fine if you want to get deeper and do more of a devotional i like to um, figure out what the what the scripture is coming from you know like finding out that it was you know that right when joshua was leading the people into the promised land um so i like to dig into it what the scripture is about and then apply it to my own life and that's usually what i write about um, but you can do it all different ways it's whatever you want to do that's what a faith journal is so perfect for uh, also, don't forget to add your uh, prayers and your thanksgiving to your faith journal. I actually put mine. Um, I keep track of those separately just so that way I am um, just on my faith page for that day. I've just got that information of what that devotional is about. And then I can see at a glance when prayers are answered. Because to me, that's really important. Um, I've got a lot of people that are very heavy on my heart right now. And I like to see where God is moving with them. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, ladies. Um, I appreciate you being here. I go live every morning. Uh, tomorrow morning, I have a doctor's appointment at 9 a.m., so I might be a little bit late. So if you don't see me right at 10 o'clock, I will get on as soon as I get back from my appointment. Um, so thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a very blessed day.